Whoa, that was a bigger step than I thought. <laughs> Good morning from the point at Arbuckle Lake. Y'all ready to do a little exploring? Check things out? I know we are, so let's do it. women's and men's bathroom and then a men and woman's shower not much to it clean though that's an important thing men's restroom clean 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 and then in the shower very nice very nice And it is $22 a night with water and electricity. $16 a night with no utilities. See if you can get down to the water right here. These leaves are slick. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell how clear that water is, but it's pretty clear. I'd say, probably see about three foot, maybe four. Yeah, let's continue this little walk and check out the rest of this little area. Then we'll go ahead over to, uh, what was it called? Little Niagara. Go check that out. Let's go walk this little loop and then, then we'll head out. A good little spot to put tents. Could be blocking the wind, that's for sure. 22. Chickasaw National Recreation Area has something to offer everyone. The Platte Historic District has picnicking, hiking, camping, fishing, swimming in the Traverty Nature Center. The Arbuckle Lake District has boating, camping, swimming, hunting and fishing. Both districts abound in natural beauty including wildlife, plants, geology and dark skies. Rangers make the park safe and secure and are great sources of information. And keep in mind, you know, if this was springtime, summertime, whatever, all these lit trees are going to have leaves all over them. So while right now you can see the other campsites, you know, when all this is filled out with leaves, you might not be able to see them. You can still hear them, but still pretty nice, so in my opinion. <laughs> Thought that might have been a restroom, but apparently not. A little amphitheater.
camping at the lake of the Arbuckles nestled in a post, and Blackjack Oak Forest are the improved campgrounds at the lake of the Arbuckles. The Point and Buckhorn campgrounds provide a bit more for the modern camper. Amenities include RV hookups, water and electric, and restrooms with showers. All sites are in close proximity to both large facilities and other water activities. The Point Campground The Point Campground has two loops. The lower loop includes nine electrical and 28 tent sites. Three sites in the lower loop are handicap accessible. Campsites in the lower loop are opened on a first-come, first-served basis. For those who like privacy, the walk-in sites are further from parking but worth the extra walk. The upper loop has 12 electrical sites, 50 and 30 amp, and 9 down camping sites, including two handicapped accessible sites. These sites are reservable. Showers are available in the restrooms. Electrical sites also have water hookups. There are no sewer hookups available in the campground. A dump station can be found on the road down to the campground. It's funny. Oh, you see all kinds of deer coming in, but once you're in here, I haven't really seen any. Wonder why reservations required on these. Nothing special about them. That one and this one doesn't have electricity. This one over here does. Can you move these? Yeah. So if you had a long rig, you could slide that over and back all the way up in. Whoa, that was a bigger step than I thought. <laughs> I they had a fire down here. Probably just goes down in the water, I don't know. That's why I was stopped, I didn't think. You know this is the stream to the lake, the back of the lake? Mm-hmm, yeah. Not even a bobcat, nothing out of here. <laughs> I can't imagine that pickup pulling that though. How you doing? How are you? All right. Out, out enjoying the nice day. <laughs> yes, it is. Can't beat it. Back down where that road was closed. Yeah, her ankle's hurting her though. I said, maybe we'll walk down there tomorrow or something, but... Yeah, you can walk back in there. It goes all the way to town. Oh, does it? Yeah, it goes actually all the way to Rock Creek back over in there. Whoa. Well, that'd be a pretty good little walk. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's probably about five miles. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. There's all kinds of varmints back in there. Well, that's what she was saying Well, gosh. She said, I ain't seen a bobcat and nothing. Yeah, there's, there's deer and everything out in here. Yeah. Well, when we were coming back last night, we saw a bunch of deer when you start coming in over here, but. Yeah, yeah there's a bunch of them back off in here. All right, I appreciate it. Maybe I have to do that tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Let me get the tripod and walk back over right there. Let's see.